Okay, guys, welcome back to the Burp Sweep class. So this is what makes it interesting to use something like Burp Sweep because now that you want to, we call this fuzz, you want to try a whole lot of different stuff against this particular parameter. You go, you know, I want to try more against that one. I want to try a whole lot more. This is when you say, you know what, I can send this thing over to Intruder, and now I can try a whole lot more. So let's say I go here, I'm just clicking on this link. And if I send a single quote right here, that seems to work really well, right? But maybe I wanna try a whole lot more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a real quick fuzz database. So here's a little fuzz database that I made a few days ago and it's got a bunch of different SQL injections. So you can see it's got some with the quote, some without a quote, some with the number, some with the closing parentheses, you know, unbalanced parentheses, some with the unbalanced parentheses and a single quote. So for me, it's, it's really nice because let's say now I'm inside of Burp Suite and I find that same parameter. Right, so here's the one that I found, right? And now you say, okay, what I wanna do is I wanna send it to the intruder. So I send it to intruder, relax guys, I'm gonna cover all this a little later, okay? I send it to intruder, I go over here to intruder, and now in the positions, you can see that I'm saying, you know, right here is where I wanna send every single one of those, right? I don't just want to try a single quote. I tried a single quote. That looks bad. Now, let me try every single one in my list to see if I find anything very interesting, right? So I'm going to jump over to payloads. And then in my payloads, I'm just going to paste those payloads right here. See that? So I paste them all right here. And let's just start an attack real quick. Okay, so you can see here that it's doing every single one of those, and he's going to try to see what the results are. So let's go check one of these. So I'm checking one, and I'm going to look at the response. And I like to see the response in HTML because I'm lazy. Okay. And now if I look right there, right, incorrect exception syntax near this keyword. Now, if I render it, you'll see that it looks just like the real page, and I go, well, that's not the attack that I want, right? Each one of these is trying to get a username, a database name, or a database version. That's what I'm trying for each one of these. But you're seeing space or one equals convert int, right, at uh, at, at version or at, at database, right? This whole series is not working, right? Whoops. This whole series is not working. They're not giving me a suitable injection. The injection is triggering the error, right? Incorrect syntax near the keyword or, right? It's triggering the error, but it's not giving me any data back. So let's try the next batch, the next batch has a single quote, right? The next batch is exactly the same as the first batch, right? They're the same, but this batch has a single quote. So now, hopefully, if I click on one of these, maybe I'll have some data in there. So when I click there, no, you can see here that he says tick or one in equals convert int user. Ah, 
Okay, so it's it's definitely echoing back what I sent it, but it's not executing what I sent it, right? Because what I want to see is the username, and then this next one, I want to see the database version, and this next one, you know, I, I, excuse me, DB name, then the database version. That's what I want to see here. So that batch is not working. So let's try the next batch. So the next batch has a number, right? It has a number without a single quote, okay? So if you look here, this batch works, right? There's the username, DVO, right? The database name one didn't work, but there's the database version. So this one or one convert, this trick is working, right? One or one convert, right? One or one equals convert. And then what you want in parentheses, that's working. Because as I go through each one, right, there's the server name, right? There's the table name, right? Right, all these are working. Now, when I get down to this next batch, these have a one and a single quote, you can see that these are not working, right? Again, triggering the error, but it's echoing back the syntax I, I sent to it. So it's not working. So why do people love Burp Suite so much? It's because now you see that I just made my manual testing so much more efficient. If I can help you learn about who we are, and hopefully, if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.